your pet would like to have a word with you. In fact, your dog, cat, bird, horse, fish, even bearded dragon would like to have an entire conversation with you. But having that trans-species discussion is difficult without an interpreter or go-between. A specifically skilled individual who's been communicating with our animal friends for more than three decades. Bridging gaps in understanding. Elevating relationships. Building peace and harmony among all Earth's creatures. That person is Susan Vaughn, the Animal Whisperer. In this episode, What a Rooster Wants. Ken the Rooster taught me once again that the perspective of our animal friends is often different from our own. Jeff and Joan Buckingham called me first about Ken because his enthusiastic crowing was so loud it was disrupting their daily life. One time we had it, we called Susan because we had this rooster that Jeff adopted. Um, and Named Ken. Ken. And he was kind of a problem. He, he was very nice at first, but then would attack us and... He would get on the porch and start crowing really loud um, next to the windows. And it was, if you were on the phone, you couldn't hear. And people go, is that a rooster? Yeah. And so... Um, it was so loud. <laughs> it was like he was inside your head. Yeah. It was really, really loud. Yeah. And so, you know, we called Susan and say, hey, can you talk to Ken and tell him to stay off the porch? And she did. And he never got back up on the porch after yeah. one conversation and uh, he spent he, up until that time you couldn't get him off the porch for more than a few minutes he, his whole life was on the porch after one conversation yeah. with Susan I never saw him on the porch again yeah it was amazing yeah. Ken had lived outside the San Luis Obispo Senior Center right in the downtown area there were cars going up and down the street, people going in and out of the building, and he felt insecure and somewhat lost in that environment. He wasn't sure what his role was there. Jeff thought Ken would have a much better life in the wide open spaces of his ranch, and so he took the rooster home. Ken was indeed happier, but he wasn't sure how to act in his new environment. He still felt insecure because he needed something to dominate, so he began to bully the humans. When I chatted with him, he let me know that what he needed was the safety of a cage and some chickens to watch over. But you know, that was such an interesting lesson. Because so many times with our animal friends, we project our human values on them, thinking that that is being kind and, and doing what they want. And so in Ken's case, that's exactly what I was doing. I wanted Ken to be free and out and running around because that was my perception of happiness. And what we've discovered working with Susan is that Ken was much happier in a cage where he felt safe. Yeah. And I think it's important when we're working with animals to try to put ourselves actually in the position of an animal. And that's where I think having the ability to take advantage of an animal communicator like Susan is really helpful because we just don't always know what our animal friends want. Yeah. It, it brings a lot of uh, or peace of mind to know that we've done everything that we can for any of our animals mm -hmm. and that, that's very comforting. For more episodes in the series, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. To learn all about Susan Vaughn and her services, visit her website at animalwhisperer.net. Be part of the community by subscribing to her Facebook page, animalwhisperer.net. Then sign up for Susan's newsletter to enjoy more of her fascinating animal-human communication stories. So, until next time, join Susan as she talks to the animals on... The Animal Whisperer.